What's up y'all, Mo here with Tech Up Your Life, and today I'm excited because we're taking a look at turning the NVIDIA Shield TV into a Plex server. Previously, I was using a Lenovo ThinkServer TS140 Plex server, but after upgrading to an LG C2 OLED, I grabbed the 2019 Shield TV because of its 4K AI upscaling capabilities and Dolby Vision support. So I had the 2017 Shield TV sitting around, and I wanted to replace my TS140 so that I could take advantage of the Shield TV's small footprint and really low power draw. So the first thing you're going to need to do is just install the Plex app on your Shield TV. And there's not a separate Android TV Plex server app, so just install the native Plex Android TV app. And then fire up the app and either go ahead and sign in or create an account. And I've already got an account, so I'm just going to sign in. So once you fire up Plex, you will see a notification informing you that you have Plex Media Server already on this device. So go ahead and check the Enable Plex option. And then go ahead and if you want to create default libraries like movies, TV shows, photos, check that box and then hit Next. And now you'll need to enable storage permissions for the Shield TV. So go ahead and hit Next. And then once you've enabled storage, hit Next, and your Plex server will start installing. All right, so now what you're going to do is pick your preferred server if you have multiple, and then you can customize your navigation. So your different personal libraries, like movies, TV shows, music, photos, home videos, that kind of thing, you can select which you want to show up on your home screen. And you can also choose some different services like Plex free ad supported movies and TV shows on demand and even free live TV and movie streaming on Plex. So with its different ad supported content, Plex is actually a great option for cord cutters in general, not just serving up your personal media files. And here we are in the Plex home screen. As you can see, if you look at any of your personal libraries, they're all going to be empty because we need to actually point Plex to the media files that we wanted to serve up. But one of the first things I'm going to do is go into settings and I'm going to customize the name of this server. By default, the Shield TV will be called Shield Android TV, which is pretty on the nose. So I'm just going to rename that and add 2017 afterwards. And actually here in the settings menu, if you scroll down, then you can see the Plex Media Server option. So if you previously signed into Plex for streaming and want to turn your Shield into a server, just go ahead into that section where it says Media Server to check to make sure it's running. Or if it's disabled, you can go ahead and enable it there. But let's switch over to our laptop or desktop. You can host your files on a network attached storage device directly on the Shield's internal storage or on a USB external storage device, which is what I'm using. I have a 12 terabyte drive that I put in an Orico external drive bay, and I'm just going to connect that to my Shield TV. If you're going that route, go ahead and connect your drive to your Shield TV via USB. So once you've connected your drive, you should see it pop up. And right there on my home screen, I can see the USB drive. So I'm just going to go under settings and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go into storage settings, which is under device preferences, storage, and I'm going to select my drive. And then what you can do is you can erase and format as expanded storage, but I'm going to keep it as separate storage so that way we can just eject it like so and then connect it to our computer when we want to manage files. After connecting a drive directly to the Shield TV, what that does is it creates an NVIDIA Shield folder on the root of your hard drive. So all of the files that you want accessible by the Shield TV need to go in that folder. I've got 
a media folder and then subfolders for my different libraries like movies and TV shows. And then I have everything organized into subfolders. So each movie goes in its own subfolder and then TV shows have a subfolder under TV shows. And then there's another subfolder for each season. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my entire media folder into the NVIDIA Shield folder. And then what you're gonna do is just plug that back into the Shield TV and then you can point Plex to those libraries. To add your libraries, go to the Plex web app on a laptop or desktop, and then hover your mouse over a library in the left hand sidebar. Click the three dot button and hit manage library, and then go ahead and select edit. And in the edit library pane, you're gonna wanna select your folders full of media files for that particular library type like movies or TV shows. So go ahead and select those folders appropriately. So here I have selected my folders on my Arico drive. It's right here. And then I've gone under the NVIDIA Shield folder. And then you can select your appropriate subfolders. Of course, this might vary a little bit based on where you are storing your files, whether that's on the Shield TV itself, a network drive, or an attached storage device. And once you go ahead and save all of your libraries, Plex should then start actually scraping the library files that you have and downloading metadata like descriptions and box art. So just let it do its thing. Aside from transferring files by connecting your USB storage device directly to your computer, you can transfer files over the network. So on your Shield TV, go to settings, device preferences, storage, and then enable transfer files over local network. And if you click into that, you'll actually see the username and password credentials that you'll use to log into the shield over your network. All right, so here we are actually accessing the Plex media server that we have running on an NVIDIA Shield TV. And in a very meta move, I'm actually using a 2019 Shield TV to access my Plex server. So we're streaming from one NVIDIA Shield TV to another. And things are actually loading pretty quickly. I'm pretty pleased with this. For server capabilities, Plex on the Shield supports H.264, H.265, and MPEG-2 formats for hardware decoding. And there is hardware acceleration for H.264 encoding. I've been able to get around two to three simultaneous transcodes with the Shield, which is actually really impressive, especially considering the hardware you're working with. The thing is, if your content is in VC1, XVID, VP9, or another weird format, you might experience degraded performance. It'll probably still work, but you might want to convert those to a compatible format that works better with the Shield TV. I've had no issues playing a lot of 1080p and even 4K Blu-ray rips, like this copy of Night of the Living Dead. So yeah, performance is great, although you might have to convert some files. All right, y'all, there you have it. This has been how to install Plex Media Server on the NVIDIA Shield TV. And overall, I got to say I'm really pleased with its performance. I love the Shield's small footprint and energy efficiency. So I'm happy that I migrated from the Think Server TS140. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to the channel for notifications when we post new videos. And be sure to head over to techuplife.com where you can read some great content like tutorials, buying guides, and hands-on reviews. And in the meantime, don't forget to give your life a tech up.